In the last year, Arizona has been a haven for promoters of the unsupported claim that the 2020 election was rigged against Donald Trump. Arizona Senate Republicans' six-month election review was run and paid for by people who wanted to overturn Democrat Joe Biden's victory in Maricopa County. That victory helped put Biden in the White House. But new developments over the last few days suggest that Arizona Republicans may have hit a dead end with their review. That's the hope of Maricopa County Board's new chairman, Supervisor Bill Gates. Chairman Gates, welcome back to Square Off. Thanks for having me, Bram. So a rigorous report last week by the county's elections department repudiated virtually every single claim by the Cyber Ninjas team hired to review the 2020 vote in Maricopa County. You said, it is my hope this will be the last word on the November 2020 election. Do you think this is the last gasp for the review? I think it should be. Uh, as, as you mentioned, Bram, this week we had a very extensive hearing that addressed the nearly 100-page report that our election department has put out that goes by line by line and debunks what has been said by the cyber ninjas. This effort, this inquiry by the Senate has cost $9 million. It has distracted the state uh, in innumerable ways, and it's time to move on. There's no basis to continue forward, and it's simply distracting everyone from the important business of government. Now, despite what you just said, Senate President Karen Fan, who authorized the review, responded to the county report by declaring victory, despite all the documented errors in the review that she authorized. She implied the county was finally seeing things her way. What do you make of her response? Well, I appreciate the uh, spirit of cooperation that is indicated in her statement, but I want to be clear here. We've debunked the claims that have been brought by the cyber ninjas. Uh, there were 87 questionable ballots that we found. If you recall, the cyber ninjas claimed there were 53,000. So 87 questionable ballots, not gonna make a difference in an election, does not demonstrate any systemic fraud. And at that amount, over 9 million, that's about $100,000 per ballot. So I think it's pretty hard to declare victory given those facts. Does that tell you she's not acknowledging what you found and will press ahead in the coming session? with maybe more extreme election laws? I, I don't know, but, but my thought on that is that to the extent that there are election laws, new election laws that are passed by the legislature, they should be common sense reforms. We can support that, but we cannot support election laws that are based upon problems that don't exist, and most importantly, that are based upon the Cyber Ninja Report, because it's been completely discredited. The Cyber Ninjas are now defunct, and they're not experts in elections, as has been demonstrated over and over again in the past year.